This is outdated. Hustle. Your hustle. Hustle. What if there was a different way to make more money in your business? I want to share two stories with you. That of my client Jessica and my client Savannah who managed to make a lot more money in their businesses by actually working less. And all thanks to changing one thing that most business coaches rarely talk about. And because this is the shaman mindset, I think it's appropriate to film this in the mountains. We are close to beautiful Brasov, Romania, and we are with Thor, the wolf dog. I'm gonna share with you exactly what was the one secret ingredient that my clients used to create more money, more clients, with so much more ease. And I'm also gonna try to start a fire going to be a bit difficult because it's been raining for days now and right after we start a fire I'm going to show you how to connect with the spirits of the mountains the forest so that you gain powerful insights that will help you tremendously in life and business The old ways of doing business had a lot to do with stress, hard work, overwhelm, but here's why building a business in a state of stress is extremely difficult. When you are stressed, you are literally in a state of fight or flight. It is the opposite of creativity. And today, creativity is more important than anything. I mean, you have access to all the information in the world. With AI now becoming more and more creative, you cannot afford to be in states where your creativity is being sacrificed. And something else happens when you are in a state of stress, when you are hustling and pressuring yourself constantly. The different parts of your brain stop working together. You all of a sudden have an incohesive brain and incohesive thoughts lead to incohesive actions which lead to incohesive results but what is the right state how is it that both jessica and savannah got much better results by working less i interviewed dr wasi salim the other day and he's a six-figure coach on his way to becoming a seven-figure coach and he was literally talking about how he doesn't work more than one or two hours a day how is this possible? The secret to growing your business with a lot more ease and less stress is a state of deep inner peace, of being okay with what is. <laughs> but how do you reach that state of inner peace? It's a combination between knowing that your thoughts create your reality combined with the emotions you choose to live in and the actions you choose to take. I'm not just talking about the strategies and tactics you use. I'm talking about the kind of actions you're taking. Are you taking action from a state of power, of knowing that everything's going to be okay, that you are going to figure things out and your business will grow exponentially? Or are you taking action from a stifled energy where you're constantly doubting yourself whether it's going to work or not. That is literally the work that I did with both Jessica and Savannah. I showed them how powerful they truly are and how all of these doubts, all of these worries, all of these fears simply didn't make sense. And in time, they did reach a state of peace, but it wasn't instant because when you step into that energy of deciding you're going to be powerful, all of the fears, all of the bullshit comes to the surface. And it's going to be the most uncomfortable thing you ever did in your life. 
That's why most people don't get on the other side by themselves because when that state of discomfort I'm sure you've tried this many many times you've decided your life is going to be different you've decided to tap into a different energy but when all of that you know started coming to the surface when things started getting worse before they could get better you backtracked you got scared and you said you know what I'm I don't know what to do next I'm not sure if I know how to handle this. Let me know if you've been there. I've been there many, many times. So, so that's why we need someone in those in, in that transitionary period. You need someone to hold your hand, not hold you by the hand to take you on the other side, but to hold your hand, look you in the eye, and say, "You are." powerful i believe in you and this is just a transitionary period life is going to be so much better on the other side but there's no way you're going to reach the other side without processing all of that bs without getting very 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 uncomfortable and that's why life kind of stays the same because because it's not an easy thing to do Facing all of your fears, processing all of those aspects of self that maybe you've been running away from for a long time. So that being said, let us connect to the spirit of the forest for now and see what the spirit has to offer in that sense, in the sense of transitioning from here to there with a lot more E. When you do this, you want to be in a state of inner silence. You want to focus on your body within initially to reach that inner state And then try to get a sense of where an energy is around you, around the forest. Where is it that it wants to come in and enter your space? I'm actually feeling a few entities, a few spirits in this forest. Friendly, lovely, joyful, and very playful. I'm going to ask them a question, a question from myself, and then I'm going to try to tune into a question from you that might be very, very relevant for you. How can we easily transition in a new stage of life from where we are to where we choose to be? How can we diminish the fear of being in that space of turmoil. They're saying love and joy. Could you be a bit more specific, please? They're saying love the suffering because there is deep transformational information in the suffering. So be grateful for the suffering. Be grateful for that period. Love it. Allow yourself to love it. Allow yourself to love you in that imperfect state. 
Even if you are in a state of fear, you are transitioning. Even if you are in a state of doubt, you are transitioning. Even if you are in a state of... Darkness. You are transitioning because you get to understand, you get to know your deep darkness. So that you may know the deepest versions of your light. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now let me see if I can connect to a question from you that would be very, very relevant right now. How do we transform matter into energy? They're saying it takes more effort to keep things as they are, to keep matter as matter. Because matter is in its... natural state it is energy and it takes more focus more effort to keep matter as matter in a sense it takes more effort to keep things as they are because things are constantly changing and there is more required from your physical body, from your mental energy to keep things as they are. The way to allow things to change towards more of what you prefer is to relax, is to use less effort because life loves you and life wants you to have what you prefer. But because of your training, you keep things as they are. You keep them stuck because of fear of the unknown. But once you understand that you are the known, then there is no fear of the unknown. Once you soften tension, you soften your body, you become a lot more energy and the world around you becomes a lot more energy too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you beautiful spirits of the forest. Is there anything else you would like us to understand that you would like to share with us. More to come. There will be more to come. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah, that was interesting. Well, This is literally the first time I ever did something like this.
thank you guys. <laughs> Love you. Love you so much. Ah. And thank you. Thank you so much for being a part of this. I hope I hope this was fun for you. I hope you got something relevant to your journey right now. I would love to know in the comments how this experience was for you and what you got out of this conversation. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. I'll see you soon. And uh, I appreciate you for being one of the warrior shamans. Bye.